What is up folks, it's your boy BJT coming at y'all with another video today. And today's video is gonna be about a topic that's been getting my attention a good bit lately and that's high fashion versus streetwear. Now before I get into all that, I just wanna give you guys a heads up that I'm going into a new direction with my YouTube channel, sort of. Now, I'm still gonna make videos about sneakers and vlogs, reviews and fashion and all the other good stuff, but I kinda wanna spice things up a little bit and do some videos about some other things that I'm interested in as well as some stuff that I like, you know, but I'm still gonna stay true and all that good stuff. So I just wanna let you guys know about that. I kinda wanna be like the Tyron Matthew or the Honey Badger of YouTube, meaning like versatile. You know, Tyron Matthew can play a whole bunch of positions on defense, linebacker, safety, nickel, corner, you know, whatever. So I kinda wanna be like that with my YouTube channel. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, let's get it. Hi, Reggie. All right, so for starters, there's a lot of High fashion brands and there's a lot of streetwear brands. Some high fashion brands that are up there. You got Versace, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Off-White, Alexander Wang, Helmut Lang, which is one of my favorites. So, you know, all that good stuff. And then you have streetwear. You got Champion, Supreme, Vape, and all the other good stuff. And there's some high-end brands that kind of tie into streetwear and high fashion, such as Louis Vuitton, Gucci, and Off-White. And Off-White is just like way, way, way up there, you know. But there's a lot of differences and some similarities between the two, you know, with high fashion and streetwear. Now, it could be how they look, the material, the design of things, and how much they cost. Because prices were really, really, that is a big difference. But, you know, I see a lot of high beats wearing like Gucci, Louis Vuitton. You know, Louis Vuitton has done collabs with guys like Supreme and, you know, you know, the whole Supreme box logo and the jeans and the jean jacket and the parka and all the other good stuff. And then you have Bape. That's a really high up streetwear brand as well. They done collabs with Adidas and, you know, all the other good stuff. And then you got Yeezy and just really, literally everything else. You know, you guys know all about that stuff. Probably more than I do. I don't know. But yeah. So, but right here, we have some, you know, high fashion, I could say, um, t-shirts right here. You got a Versace collection t-shirt and you got a Alexander Wang oversized t-shirt. So right there, um, I got this from Barney's and this from Saks. And then right here, you got this lifted anchors t-shirt that I got from Seven Exchange. So shout out to Seven Exchange. This is really giving me these off-white vibes. So I'm going to kind of compare these shirts. I might add in something in there, but I'm going to compare the pricing, the design, how they feel, material, and everything else like that. So we're going to do that right quick, you know? For starters, let's talk about the price because that's a really, really, really big deal when it comes down to the point. Now, this shirt is from Alexander Wang, which is a prominent designer. I got this from Barney's. This was about 200 and something dollars, this oversized t-shirt, but I got it on sale. So shout out to Barney's. Only got it for like way cheaper than that. So, you know, that's all good and dandy. And then this shirt, Lifted Anchors, this is more in the streetwear type of field rather than high fashion. So you see this, Lifted Anchors, this is about $50. So yeah, but another difference with these kind of things with high fashion and streetwear is the material. And you can see and you can kind of feel it. I mean, you guys can't because I'm obviously right here and you're not, but you can kind of feel it. You can see what the material is made out of and it's really soft and it's just, you know, really high quality. And then you go with the streetwear shirt, Lifted Anchors. And then you just kind of fit around. You can you can kind of see the quality difference in it just, just by looking at it. You know, it, it doesn't feel like uncomfortable or anything like that. It feels really good, but, you know, the high fashion, the more expensive one feels a whole lot better, you know. But nonetheless, they still look good either way. So, and then this was made by designer Alexander Wang. And this was made just by a brand, Lifted Anchors. So you can obviously see that. And then you can feel the quality difference and just everything else like that. But... It's really up to you. Some people want to go with the more expensive option. Some people want to go with the lesser option. Some people do both. You know, I like doing both. Not everything has to be super, you know, crazy, you know, whatever. And not everything has to be all hype. But it really just depends on what you like, you know. Now you have this champion sweatshirt, as you can see. Shout out to Champion, which is another really popular streetwear brand. So the material for this sweatshirt, it feels good. You know, feels good on the outside and the inside. You guys can see that it's really comfortable and it's really, really warm. Now, this brings me to something that I remember because not too long ago, I went to the store with some of my friends and we saw a Balenciaga hoodie and it was about 790 something dollars. And my friend is just like mind blown. He's like, bro, why is it this much? This is the same material. 
his champion and everything else like that, in a way, you know, maybe he was just kidding or he probably was just saying that. But that could also be true because the thing with that is, well, they can get material from something that's like champion, right? Champion's not that expensive at all. But you can throw Balenciaga or something like that on it and then boom, the price goes up hundreds of dollars, you know? And that's just kind of the crazy part. And that's why I can see people favoring streetwear more than high fashion just because of the pricing like I said, but the material sometimes can be the exact same, but because of the name, the name brand can always shoot it up higher. You know, you could have some regular like jogger pants, but if they're Nike, they're going to be like a hundred something dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like stuff like that. But like I said, it all depends on what you like. All right, folks, that's my video on the differences between high fashion and streetwear to run by some of the differences and similarities. Once again, you know, you got the pricing sizing who made it the brand and just there's so many things that go into it but you got to do your research and it's really all a personal thing you know some people want to go with the high fashion stuff you know the high end ex crazy expensive all the other good stuff and some people want to go with the you know streetwear more affordable things but also some streetwear is pretty expensive as well you know supreme can start off at a certain price that's pretty affordable and then it could shoot up you know because some of the stuff is rare and it's very limited but you just gotta do you, it's your own personal opinion, your own personal preference, and you pretty much do what you wanna do, you know? I'm just giving my opinion on it. But yeah, that's that. Also, if you guys want me to do any other videos besides sneakers and fashion and vlogs and whatnot, let me know, you know, I have an open mind into doing another range of videos as well, you know? I'm perfectly okay with that, so just let me know. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, at BJT underscore era. Be sure to follow me on all those, by the way. And, you know, we could talk about that and then, you know, give me some ideas. I'm really open to doing other things. So, you know, just let me know and I'll get back to you for sure. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, before I go, some of my personal favorite designers, Virgil Abloh's up there, definitely. Kanye West, you got Helmut Lang brand, you got people like, I'd say, Alexander Wang and just stuff like that, you know. And then some streetwear, I really like Supreme, even though I don't have any Supreme, I really like it. Babe. And champion, most definitely. Love champion. But yeah, that's that. I hope you guys have a good one. Like I said, be sure to follow me on all my social medias at BJT underscore era. Hit me up. A lot of things coming soon, most definitely. I got y'all, I promise. But also, subscribe. And when you do, click that notification bell because YouTube doesn't always want to send the notification that I posted a video. And that goes for many other YouTubers as well. It's crazy. YouTube, you got to do a, a better job of that. You got to. But that's really that. I hope you guys have a good one. And peace out.